Hey guys, I'm back with a, another unboxing of something I'm really excited about. Um, waited for this, was excited to get it. It's the Mackie DLZ Creator XS. And it's something that I am familiar with in terms of, um, you know, using it because my current board that I use for my podcast is the, and I'm trying to center this so that you can get to see it, is the Mackie DLZ Creator, the original. I'm just going to cut over to that for a second so you can see it. There it is. I'm talking on it right now with an overhead shotgun mic. So you can see the audio meters going up. That's where this is being recorded. And I got my hands on this. Now, switching back for a second, you see how much space this takes over. It is really large. I'm not sure if you can tell um, from, you know, from the video. It is an amazing board. Clean preamps. Tremendous features. My go-to board. When I heard that Mackie was coming out with a version that's smaller, that does the same thing, I was dying to get my hands on it. So let's open this box. Oh, let's look around the box for a second. Uh, Mackie DLZ Creator XS Compact Adaptive Digital Mixer for Podcasting and Streaming featuring Mix Agent Technology, which is the same as the, the big version, right? Record, stream, connect, Bluetooth, uh, Apple, Windows, NDI. Uh, let's look on this side. I'll turn it up for you to see it. Um, one eighth auxiliary SD card slot, SD card not included. Um, USB-A, NDI compatible Ethernet port for high res audio or other computers and software including OBS. USB-C for Mac PC connection, main out, two headphones out, two custom mic mixes, stereo one quarter line in, and Onyx 80 mic preamps that provide up to 80 decibel of gain. So let's open this baby up. See what we've got. What we have is a typical, and I'm sorry about the light that's shining directly on it. It may be affecting your ability to see. Yeah, let me tilt it that way. I hope that's better for you. Um, the usual cheat sheet that comes with the Mac came, same thing came with the other version. The cheat sheet and just giving you an overview of a quick overview of the functions of the of the the board you know since i have used this before um i pretty much know it so i'm going to put that aside what we have here now is the quick start guide right i like the fact that the new quick start guides are pretty pretty big print I hate those squeaky tiny things. Keep this card. Record and produce like a pro. Waveform. Waveform OEM is a multi award winning workstation featuring powerful creative tools to inspire a modern musician, including included with this software is a DAW Essentials, including 16 powerful plugins and your mixes shine. So you get uh, to download Waveform OEM and the DAW Essentials Collection. And it gives you a license code to do that. What do we have here? The Power Wart, which is similar to the one on, on the, um, the bigger version. You've got the, 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 the brick itself. And yes, you've got the locking. I, like, I love the locking uh, plug. You know, this way you don't have, you know, you're in the middle of doing something, the board moves and out, out goes your power, right? And they gave a USB-A to USB-C cable. Opening up here. Is there anything else in the box? No, there isn't. So I'm going to throw the box aside. And there is this baby. Now, I can feel right away it's got weight to it, but it's way lighter than its predecessor. Beautiful screen. It's got a screen protector on it. I'm not going to peel it yet. Um, it's got four control buttons here. 
I'm gonna switch over if you notice on this one, this one's got five. This has five um, faders and they're turn knob faders. I kind of like that. I think that there's less that can go wrong with turn knobs than the slide knobs, right? Because the issue with the slide knobs is when you're in an open studio and there's vibration around or whatever, I'm gonna switch back again. These slides here, dust can get inside here and over time, right? So I like that. Auto mix record home button looks like the same sound pad buttons. Uh, let's go on the back here. I hope you can see that from left. It's got the power button, the locking uh, power plug, the SD card, the USB A, which is how I usually record. I record onto a thumb drive. Ethernet port, uh, an in an input that's uh, TRS one eighth. USB-C, that's also an input. So I guess that's the NDI. Two main quarter inch outs, four headphones, two XLR, and the, you know, the key lock thing that nobody ever uses. On the side, just a vent emblem. The bottom, nice rubber pads. Flip side, venting again, emblem. And that's it. So I'm gonna swap the two boards out i'm going to swap this board out and i'm going to put this board in connect everything up and do some audio recordings play around with it a bit and then you'll see the rest of it when the full review is out thanks for watching